What's up everyone? This is the Minister of Beauty. This is day five of Vlogmas, December the 5th. And it's um, right now as I'm recording this, it's Sunday afternoon. And I'm, I'm just sitting here doing something that I don't really get a whole lot of time to do, which is just nothing. <laughs> I got in my robe. I was actually going to be doing a deep fried turkey today. I ordered a deep fried turkey fryer. Um, because I, I've been doing that for years. And even though I don't traditionally celebrate Thanksgiving every year, that's one of the things that I will do. And um, the fryer that I bought last year, it conked out earlier this year. And I, I meant to get another replacement. And I, I got one, but I got one uh, a few days ago. It was delivered. So I opened the package. And the main components that I need are not even in the box. Like, seriously? the out the cord the outlet to plug it in to you know for it to even work the and um a couple of other little things that you need but i actually still had a couple of those other things from the other deep um fryer but for whatever reason i didn't have the cords anymore i think maybe because it wasn't working i'd probably toss the cord out too because i think that's um you know what was going on but anyway whatever, I'll, I'll find something else to eat. But I'm just sitting here like really doing nothing right now. I'm watching reruns of um, TV. I'll probably get some work done later. And um, as I'm getting prepared for the, the new week to come, which is, you know, this is the first day of the new week, I'm, I'm thinking higher and thinking greater than what I was before. I heard someone say something recently about if you have a desire and it's like something that you really, really want and you you may either see it as hard to obtain or it's like you're just so focused on that one thing that you want that you don't see anything greater than that one thing, then it's possible that it's harder for you to reach it and to grasp it because God doesn't ever want us to settle. He always wants us to be in a place where we're wanting to do more. We want to pursue more. And I won't say I've ever really settled, but because of some things that I've gone through in my life and some hurts um, that I've experienced and, you know, depression and things like that, when you're in those states of mind, you will sometimes get down on yourself and be hard on yourself. And, and you may feel like, well, I don't, I may not deserve more or, I, you know, I just need to be content where I am and just not try to pursue more. But I will say I'm thankful to have the spirit and the drive that God has given me that even when I have those moments, it's just for a moment. I don't stay there and I will pursue more and I will go for the greater. And so I just have this, I just have this drive to just, no matter what it looks like, and no matter what I may have been working on before that may not have worked out or things that I may have tried to pursue and it may not have been either the right time or I just didn't really have everything that I need to make those things happen and work out in my life, um, I haven't given up on them. They're still written down in my list. I have like a lot of things written down and lists in my my online maintenance board that I keep a lot of my different ideas and, and things like that. So even though there are some mighty things that I'm desiring, not just for my life, but to do for other people in my life, like for my mom, there's some things that I want to do for my mom and just some other things that I really want to do for my family and for people that work with me in my business and who've been on my team and on my side for, you know, a, a long time now. And even those that haven't been here as long, but they've just shown that hard work and dedication and and the drive and the desire to do more and and they appreciate where they are i am pursuing and i'm and i'm seeing greater greater for me so i'm saying all that to say you may have some great desires that you want and 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 it may seem so large and intense that you don't see anything greater than that don't settle. Don't settle for that one vision. If you've already made made it to the point where like you may have 
made a half a million dollars, but you don't see yourself doing anything greater than that. And and that prior to you getting to that 500,000 or that, you know, half a million, that was just like the greatest thing that you could ever experience. Pursue the millions and see yourself in that place and know that you're capable of doing that. And, and that greater desire and not settling for where you are, I believe, is what God really wants for us to not just settle. Yes, he wants us to be happy and and not be in a state of complaining and saying I don't like where I'm at. There's nothing wrong with not wanting to be in a in a state of lack or need or sickness or whatever. Not saying you should want to be in those places, but if you're unhealthy, pers- pursue health, pursue a greater body um type and you know, doing the things that you need to do to get to that place. It's not always just about the money, you know, pursue a greater mindset, Um, challenge yourself to be in a greater state than what you are right now and always have greater goals, greater and higher goals than what you have for yourself right now. And don't just see this one thing as the pinnacle. If you have a vision board that you've created and everything that you've desired is on that vision board, then you need to create another vision board. You need to continue to elevate your vision and not just be in a place where, you know what, I've reached the pinnacle and that's it. And um, and I'll just use this as an example. People, they say people who stop working and they retire and they don't do anything else and they're just like laying around and not doing much of anything at all. Those are usually the people that wind up dying. But those who continue to work, even if they don't have to work, but they're always doing something or they're volunteering or they're doing something, they're always doing something more than what they were doing before, they tend to continue to live. So don't quit. Continue to live, continue to pursue more and greater because God doesn't ever want us to just truly be satisfied. He wants us to desire more and to see more for ourselves. And so we are always in pursuit of greater and always in pursuit of higher. So I I hope you got something from that. Again, just straight off the dome. This is day five of Vlogmas. And I just wanted to do a quick vlog as I was sitting here in my living room. Um, my husband and I, we went out to breakfast this morning. That's not something we normally do, but like that spur of the moment thing, because I'm such a planner. But this morning I was like, let's let's go get breakfast. And we actually did do that. <laughs> okay, so for me, that's like, that was huge. And, um, and I'm just, you know, spending the rest of the day relaxing, but it's going to be for me to be more refreshed and rejuvenated for the week to come. So guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let me know your thoughts about what I shared in the comment section. And I always appreciate you all. So guys, again, as a minister of beauty, I share the Bible. That's business, inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. So I'm going to go before the dogs start barking. And until the next time, I hope you all have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day. Bye.